Hi, my name is Charlotte Muller Hayes. I am with Frederick Book Arts, and today we are going to learn how to make an Earth Day card, an Earth Day pop up card. Now, I am going to encourage you to look around your house and see what materials you might have to make this card. Um, you can use anything from box board, um, like this one, or newsprint. Um, you can use colored paper or scrap paper. And since it's Earth Day, I would really encourage you to go ahead and look and see what you've got around your house. Um, so today, what we need other than our pieces of paper will be um, a pencil, something round, and some scissors. And optionally, we also could use some glue. Um, but this part's optional. Really, the main thing you need, paper, pencil, something round, and your scissors. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to make a simple pop-up. And I'm gonna use this origami paper here. And part of the reason I'm using this paper is because it has very distinct fronts and backs. And I want you to be able to really see what I'm doing and not get confused. Um, so, But I really encourage you, especially for these, if you're playing with it for the first time, to go and find something that you are reusing because it is Earth Day and we would like to reduce, reuse, and recycle. So do your reuse part if you can. So we're gonna start by folding the paper in half. So I'm gonna fold the fish side to the outside and I'm gonna fold the orange side inside in this particular case. So now I have an inside and an outside, and the outside is the fish side, and the inside is this bright orange side. And I should be able to sit it right side up like a tent, in a little triangle, whoop, like a little tent here. So I'm gonna take that, and the first basic shape we need to learn how to make is we need to learn how to make a pop-up that goes on the inside. So we're gonna take our scissors, and we're gonna cut two straight lines that are about the same length. They don't have to be exact, but the closer they are to the same length, the better for what we're trying to do in this particular experiment. You don't need to measure it. If you really want to use a ruler though, feel free to go ahead and use a ruler. And we're going to take that little flap and we're going to fold it once on one side and rub it down really good. We're going to fold it on the other side, rub it down really good. And then we're going to open up our piece. Now remember, we have the front side, or the outside, which is the fishes, and the inside, which is the orange. And we're going to take the inside, which is orange, and we're going to just pop it through, and we're going to turn that fold inside out, and it's going to make a square for us. Do you see that square? So now when you fold it and open it, that square is going to pop out and be a three-dimensional pop-up card. Boom! Super easy, right? So I'm gonna show you how that pop-up worked one more time. We cut the slices, we folded really well back and forth. That gives your paper a little malleability, a little easier to fold, and then we're gonna boop, pop it right through. So if you had a tent, you're popping it downwards so it's got a reverse tent or a valley if this was a mountain. So just looking to see all of those views. So we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna do it with multiples and in a circle. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna take this piece of paper right here that's nice and bright yellow, and it's got some water on this side. I thought that was very nice for Earth Day because we want to, in addition to saving paper, we wanna think about water waste as well, which goes into the process. Not just trees go into paper, water does too. So it's a good thing to conserve um, water if you're using recycled paper. It gets used a lot in processing. And that has to be cleaned. There's a lot of chemistry that goes into it. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna fold it. And I'm choosing the yellow side on the outside so it's easy to see. And in this type, I've got the waves on the inside, my nice water that we wanna keep clean. And then I've got the yellow on the outside. I'm gonna take my round object and I'm gonna make it about halfway down the round object and wherever I want my pop-up to exist. I'm gonna put it right down there. And it can be any round object. I've got this jar that I use as a water jar. Um, so find your round object, put it about halfway in the middle and take your handy dandy pencil. And we're gonna just draw a line all the way around. And that gives us our circle. Then 
we are going to make cuts. And we're gonna make our cut go from the edge, this is the folded edge, remember if we were gonna sit this up like a tent, boop, be like this, cause it's the outside. So this is our edge with the fold, this is our open edge right here. Then we drew the circle on the folded edge. So we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut right to the edge of that circle in lots and lots of little evenly spaced strips. All right, so I'm gonna do that right now. And I'm just gonna take this, I'm just gonna cut, boop. I'm gonna try to make them parallel. So I'm gonna try to make them run the exact length of each other. And ideally, I will have an even number of them, of cuts. Um, so I wanna try to get an even number of cuts. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, boop, six, seven, and eight. We'll make these last ones just a little wide. Um, now if I want it again, I could measure it if I'd like. And you don't have to do eight um, or 10. Did I say eight? Did I say 10? I'm not even sure, but I did an even number. Um, you don't have to do any exact number. See, it's so much not exact number that I can't even remember how many I did. Um, you can do fewer or you can do more. It's just gonna be more to fold in and out. It'll be a finer look or a thicker look. This one has fewer than this one does, as you can tell, or you're about to be able to tell. So we're gonna take all of these flappy bits and we're gonna use that circle we drew not only is it where the lines come in, we're gonna take it and we're gonna fold our pieces so they fit right along the line, almost like it's making a nice happy little sunburst here. And the last one isn't cutting for us and that is just fine. You'll see if it's off, it's not awful. And we're gonna turn around and we're gonna flip the entire piece over. So we just flipped it all the way on this side, we're we'll flip it, the open side's on the left, we're gonna flip it so the open side's on the right, and we're gonna bend them all back the same way, just like we did for our fish one, where we folded it back and forth to make sure it was really flexible and really malleable. You want these to be the same, you want them to be really easy to move. Now if I wanted to be picky, I could certainly erase my pencil marks either at any point in time once I know where these folds are supposed to go. All right, I'm gonna put them all nice and back and flat. Now I've got my tent, and just like I did with this tent, where I popped the piece through, bloop, I'm gonna pop the piece through, but for this one, I only, for this yellow one here with the water, I only wanna pop every other piece through. So I wanna pop this one through, whoop, which will be our first one. I wanna pop our third one, I want to pop our fifth one, and our seventh one. So I'm going to pop them all the way through, and I'm going to try to keep them all nice and open for us. And make sure their folds go the reverse way of the way I originally folded them. So they're nice and flexible. And then I'm going to take it, and I'll carefully fold it all the way down and smooth everybody out. This one I want to come just a little further in so I'm going to help his fold along just a little bit. And you can do that. If it's not folding where you want, you can like open it up and just adjust where his little folds are. And then when you open up the piece, you'll get a nice little effect of it opening up in a 3D sphere just like our planet. Now you'll see the little highlight of yellow. If you've got a contrasting color, you'll see just a little flash of that color. You can also do something where you glue it to an additional board and those are additional cards, something for your outside edge. And then you can see pieces coming through. So you can see the waves coming through, the big waves coming through, the little waves. Um, you might be able to see it better if I did it through the orange. You can see the orange coming through the waves there. 
And if you wanted to do that, that's where our glue stick comes in handy. And you would just take your glue stick and a scrap piece of paper and you can glue along the edges. Now you don't want to glue any of the parts that you really want to keep moving. So we're just going to glue right along our edges. I'm flipping it around so I don't get the glue that I smeared this way onto it. And we want to reduce waste. So since we had some scrap paper, we're using that. We don't want to use something new since we don't have to. And so we can then take this piece and take our waves that we made before and we can line them all nice and up. And smooth everything out nice and evenly. Fold it so that it's got a nice crease where we want it. And you may have to, since we've glued it, it can sometimes change the tension of your cart just a little bit. So when we glue it, sometimes you have to pop them up just one time, just so that they can learn where they want to live. So you basically are teaching them how they want to fold. And you want to just fold everything nice and smoothly. You want to use a nice flat, even pressure. Uh, if you have a bone folder, you can use it, but you certainly don't need to for this. Um, you can just use the flat of your palm and just make sure you rub the edge really well. And you can kind of feel the bumps through here and you can rub those down nice and smoothly too. So then when we open up, we have this nice round card. And I thought I had done more cuts than this one and I guess I did the same number. So there is that. Um, I was just cutting what looked right to me. Um, and as I said, as long as it's an even number, you will start out your pop-ups in this direction. Um, so that is how you make a pop-up birthday card that has a globe on the inside. I hope this was a useful little lesson for you guys today. I hope you guys are having a great Earth Day and we hope you enjoy FBAC and come back to see what classes we have going on. Thanks and have a lovely day.